Hey, uh, I just got back from a trip, and uh, on my way back, I went to the Rockford Army Circles, Rockford, Illinois. I paid $107.55 for this stuff, um, so just want you to uh, check out my haul. Um, I do, while I'm going to the store, I do like to look up um, some of the things, like the cage codes or the NSN numbers with my phone. Um, if the price isn't super different, you know, they have to make money, um, and I like surplus stores, um, you know, I'm willing to give them my business. You know, I, if I can save $2 on eBay, I'm not gonna, you know, I'm not gonna just buy it from eBay. I'll buy it here, and I get, I get to see the actual thing and make sure everything's there and shit like that. So, uh, what did I get? Um, one thing that's nice is all these things came in the bag. Um, the original packaging, they have the NSN numbers and the cage codes. Um, there's a lot of slings, there's a lot of magazines. Um, so these are duplicates, I'm not going to open both of them right now, but I will open one. This is a um, Beretta M9 magazine, they did have open ones. Um, these are all made by Checkmate, so usually the Beretta ones are a little bit more valuable. Um, these Checkmate ones have some issues, I believe, in the, in the sand, um, and this one was particularly made based on, well, I guess it says June 9th, or sorry, not June 9th, June 20, uh, 2010. So, oh, May 2010, too. All right, anyway, one of those dates. Um, I'm just gonna use, I don't wanna make a big mess of it. Well, actually, this one's somewhat open already. Let's open it up. So we got here. You've seen a part of magazine before. So it's just one that's kind of brand new. It's got scratches on it. You know, it's been tumbling around and shit in there. Um, and this looks probably like a phosphate coating. So when it's a phosphate coating, it does show some scratches and shit like that. But you know, I'm pretty happy with that. Um, these were 17 bucks. So yeah, that's like kind of the going rate of a Beretta mag. Um, they're brand new. Um, they got the markings on it. They're not the best M9 mags. Um, I have Beretta M9 mags, so cool. That's Beretta mags. I'll put it back in the bag. All right, here we go. This is a Slings Small Arms, and they said it's a two-point original GI Black Sling, so I already kind of know what this is. This is probably paying a little too much for it. But I was interested. I have like I have like five of these, six of these. But you can always have more. Or maybe you know, when this channel, if this channel gets big enough, you can give it away. Yep, oh, yep. Just your typical GI sling with the uh, parkerized hardware. Nothing special. Um, let's see. Is this the longer one? Oh yeah, this is one of the longer ones. So it's weird, the short ones are actually for the M16, M16 A2. The longer ones are for the M4. Um, so you're actually supposed to be able to like kind of maneuver more with it. The other slings are just for the M16s or the M16A2s. It's just to kind of hold on your shoulder. But this one you're actually supposed to be able to um, shoot with at the same time. So um, I didn't know <laughs> what I was expecting, but I paid $14.98 for that. Cool. Let me get the paper. Okay, I got two other slings too. Um, I don't know if you, I guess if you watch uh, In Range TV, I really like uh, In Range TV, I like Carl on there. Um, and I guess Ian also did that. They're like, how do you use a three point sling? And then they just throw it in the trash. That's pretty funny. Um, these are both three point slings, but what I was mostly interested in if you can see, there is the hardware to kind of put on your M16 um, fixed stock, and then the sling will attach to the top. So I might use this in tandem with this two point sling. Right. So this, I've seen this online on eBay a lot. This one was 25 bucks. Um, yeah, I think I usually see it for like 15 bucks on eBay, but the shipping's like eight dollars. So I think. Getting it and seeing it, you know, it's a pretty good deal. What do we get here? I don't know anything about three-point slings. I don't know how to use three-point slings. I've 
I've done an apple seed shoot and learned how to use a uh, two point sling or like the GI um, web sling. But other than that, I have no idea. So yeah, this is like this D-ring that wraps around the stock, and then you got your three point. Anyway, here's the instructions. Uh, it comes with a lot of fucking shit. It's like this is the, this looks like the D-ring that you put on the stock. I don't know, we'll make a video about it. Um, this is just kind of an unboxing. We can put this on the, uh, that mix master later down the road. <laughs> this is just a fucking wad of, wad of sling. Cool. Now this one I was more interested in. I've never seen this one. I've seen this one over here. But this one, I was, I'm one of those people that opens things um, in the store. You know, I not like, I don't open food or whatever, but like if you can open it like this and put it back, then of course I'm gonna open it and look at it. Um, the thing that I was interested in, and it comes with, there's the Knight's Armament uh, logo, and I was very interested in that. This looks like it's a rail-mounted sling swivel adapter. So, um, it's not a QD, but what it looks like is like, one of those shitty slings. I don't know. Here, you can see it in there. So we got that. Um, and it tells you how to do so This looks like it's for an M4. Okay. I don't know what this is. This is a packing performed Parker seal. I have no idea what this is. This is like the smallest little piece of package. Let's just open it and we'll see. You know, you can always Google it, but, you know. You always got people looking over your shoulders in these stores. The, the people there are actually really nice, so. They, they said, take your time, do whatever. And they knew I was just like, I was browsing there for like 30, 40 minutes. Um, but sometimes when you go to surplus stores, there's like some old guy and he's just like, doesn't trust what you did. comes with a little o-ring inside this package. <laughs> okay, cool. We'll figure out what that is for later. And then here's this sling. I don't know. Comes with some nonsense. I have no idea what any of this is for. This looks like you can, there's some, there's some threading here. So I guess this can go on that, um, that cac. Uh, sling now, and uh, again, just a bunch of webbing. Cool. Well, <laughs> I don't know if I got my money's worth. Uh, I bought it uh, just because I don't have these things. Um, I'm willing to see what they are. I know that three-point slings are garbage. I don't think anyone needs to tell me that. I do have a, I do have a few good two-point slings, uh, like a, a Blue Force Gear one. So, you know. I think, I think, you know, I've beaten this horse dead on this channel, um, so I'll, I'll say it again. <clears throat> I am not buying any of this stuff to be practical. Um, this stuff is all outdated, so none of it is very good compared to the newer stuff that you buy for probably cheaper. Um, and on top of that, you know, we're not at war. If you think you are, if we're going to war or something like that, you're a bit delusional. Um, and if you think our society is going in the wrong direction, I think instead of maybe buying guns and prepping and shit like that, maybe you should get more involved with, uh, you know, your community and like making uh, your community a better place instead of just caring about yourself and protecting, protecting yourself and maybe, you know, protecting yourself and living for like an extra week, you know, because if society collapses, we're all gonna probably, you know, not do so well. So anyway, um, <laughs> that's a tangent. But anyway, this is, uh, this, the store is pretty good. Uh, you know, they're in Illinois, so they can sell like AR accessories, but uh, you know, they told me that they wish they could sell like AR-15 magazines, but they can't because of Illinois' um, gun laws uh, recently changing. Um, there were a few surplus stores I would uh, would visit in Illinois that used to have guns, like surplus guns, mill surp guns, um, but I'm sure that they don't sell those anymore. 
Um, I do like that they just have kind of a random amount of stuff. They're pretty well organized. They do have some commercial things, but they're clearly marked. Um, organized, clean. Um, it's still got that surplus smell. Um, but I found some cool things there. Um, usually when I go there, it's just airsoft stuff and like uniforms. And uh, looks like they had some slings. Are these the best slings? Probably not. But um, you know, it's cool that to have them. It's cool to look at them. Um, I'll just go in a pile and then my, my basement will look like a surplus store at some point in my life. Okay, so I appreciate you guys watching. It looks like people are watching more of the uh, more of the ep or not episodes, more of the videos that I have. I'm getting some more subscribers. Um, looks like you guys really enjoyed the one where I dressed up, so I'll probably do another dress up video just because that's what the, the algorithm seems to uh, be pushing. Um, I think uh, next I'll do an M9 magazine or not M9 magazine, an M9 pistol kind of overview. Um, my Breda M9 is a little bit different because I bought the commercial one, but I, I found a lot of um, new old stock parts to kind of upgrade it to look um, more like the military version. So thanks for watching. Uh, please subscribe if you uh, want to see more videos. Um, give me a like if you liked it. and. Um, I've been enjoying all your comments, so comment if you uh, want to learn more about this stuff or you want to just say that, you know, it's a waste of money. Whatever you want to do, you know, I'm happy to see you guys engaging with it. Alright, take care. Bye.